Hi folks, welcome to inkdependence.com brief video review and water drop test. Today we've obviously got Noodler's Nikita. Uh, it's the second of the reds that I've got uh, handy right here from Noodler's. The first one of course is Park Red. If you haven't seen that review, go check it out. Uh, this one is quite similar. Uh, I only have a sample vial of this one. Uh, you'll notice there's no brands on this. This is a, a vial that uh, I actually got a bulk and then uh, my friend Lori from the Triangle Pen Club hooked me up with a nice generous sample of this stuff. Um, I really do like Noodler's Nikita. You can see it's, uh, you know, kind of sticking to the sides of the vial there a little bit, but uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about any staining or anything with this one. I guess we'll see how it goes. I haven't actually um, cleaned out any pens, but I haven't seen any staining in the uh, converter or anything. So, anywho, this is a nice bright red. Uh, it's kind of a bold red like Park Red is. In fact, these two are quite a lot alike. Um, interestingly, when I did the uh, bleed, feather, and spreading test on my copy paper, I didn't really see any of that with this ink. I expected there to be some. I'm pretty sure I've seen it there with this ink. Maybe I got um, Park and uh, Nikita mixed up when I was thinking about them, but uh, this one behaved really well. Uh, it runs a little bit wet, but not totally out of control. It's in, uh, let's see, where is this pen? Do I have it handy? Yeah, you'd think I would have gotten that handy before I started the video, but I don't see it. Uh, anyway, this is a Franklin Christoph 27, the Collegia model. If you haven't seen the Collegia, you know, go get one. It's one of those pens that I recommend without reservation. Uh, it's fantastic. This is the broad italic nib. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit here. Uh, you can see you get nice crisp lines. Uh, I really like this nib. Uh, if you have the chance to get one of these Masayama nibs or uh, get another nib from Mike Masayama at MikeAtWork.com, I definitely recommend him for nib work. He is great. Shh, scraggles. Quiet down. Dog is over here playing with the cat. All right. You see it says that uh, the shading in Sheen is that it doesn't really shade. You'll see a little bit of shading here, but of course this is Rhodia. That's kind of a different animal from uh, most paper. Uh, I haven't seen any Sheen. Let's see if I can, uh, let's see if we can see any here. Uh, uh, maybe just a little bit in this area uh, when you get the light just there. But so really, no. Not really any Sheen for any intents and purposes. Scraggles! Shh! Quiet down! Goodness! That dog, I tell you, she's not respectful of my video taking. All right, um, the only problem with, with this ink and uh, the big difference between this and Park is the dry time of this ink. Nikita takes a while to get dry. Um, you have to sit it there for a while, and on noodlers, it kind of takes quite a while. Um, so don't uh, expect this one to be a quick drying one. But aside from that, this is a really good ink. It's uh, got a good feel to it. It looks nice. It's not one of those weird bloody reds. It's just kind of a bold red red. All right. Um, so here it is next to some other reds that I have around. I just got a, the full set of the new Franklin Kristoff inks. So I'll be reviewing those here fairly soon. Um, there's, uh, <laughs> there's this called, their new red is called Red 187, which is kind of awesome. Uh, it's murder, I assume. Uh, and uh, you see Noodler's Park right next to it. So this one right here is Park, of course, and that's Nikita. Not much difference going on between those two inks. And really, Kristoff... The 187 here looks a bit different on the page. It is more of a, um, I don't know, it's kind of a, it's a lighter red than the other two. I'll go ahead and say it that way. It's a lighter red. Uh, Mont Blanc pink here actually looks kind of dark in this light. I'm not sure exactly why. The pen was running a little bit dry when I was doing the scribble, so maybe it's a little bit condensed, but it's usually brighter. Um, and then, of course, Diamond Onyx black down at the bottom just to give us a black baseline. All right, so let's see what uh, happens here. When I uh, give it a little bit of water test action. All right. So, sploosh. All right. Now, I haven't heard anything about this being water resistant or anything, so I don't really have any expectations to tell you about. Um, I assume it'll, you know, kind of come off like it is there. All right. Reds are notoriously hard from what I hear uh, to make a uh, waterproof ink out of. All right. Let's go ahead and blot this away and get over here a little bit on the test bit. All right. And uh, as you can see, it smears quite a lot. Uh, and there's quite a bit here on my uh, fancy ink blot remover paper towel. Um, and it, uh, you can still see the lines very well. The dots are just fine. Uh, it loses a bit of the richness. But yeah, if you spill water on this and wipe it off, I mean, you don't want to smear it off when you do it. I just do that for effect. Uh, but uh, it looks like there will be a fair amount left, which is pretty good. All right, so not bad there, Nikita. Takes forever to dry, but looks awesome uh, and is a little bit water resistant. A little bit. You're still going to get a lot of red. All right. Uh, this here is the chromatography for this ink. And as you can see here, it's uh, mostly kind of just red. There are several um, like darker bits in these peaks and valleys. And uh, 
Give me a second, and I'll uh, splice in the chromatography video here. All right. So there you go. That's the chromatography for the sink. Not bad at all. All right. Zoom back out. Put it back on the page, and that's it. This is Noodler's Nikita. This is inkdependence.com. I am Mike, your friendly neighborhood host. And uh, if you like what I'm doing here, go check out the blog at inkdependence.com. Also, if you want to help support the blog, any kind of donation is, is uh, awesome at uh, patreon.com slash inkdependence. All right, so go get yourself a bottle of Noodler's Nikita or Noodler's Park Red or uh, Franklin Christoph 187, although I've only just barely started using this. It seems like pretty good ink. Um, at your uh, local noodlers, uh, you know, dispensary? I don't know. Most people carry some noodlers. So, anywho, um, there you go. That's it. Noodlers Nikita. Peace out, y'all.